How to avoid surgery on the rotator cuff. So a very common injury we see all the time is when people have a rotator cuff partial tear. Now a full tear we can't fix, stem cells aren't magic, they're not gonna reattach it. But if it's a partial tear, these stem cells can get in there and start guiding the repair process. They're like the manager on the construction site, they're finding what's wrong, asking for help, telling things to get in there, get rid of scar tissue. So in the rotator cuff, you've got four different muscles that make it up, plus their tendons. And you know, it's all up here. So you do something wrong, wrong motion, you can tear that. And if you get a partial tear, that's the worst. Those are the ones that hurt the most. A full tear still hurts, but usually can deal. It just ruins movement and function, where a partial tear is just going to hurt. You're not going to want to go to the gym. You're going to always be in pain. And the doctors are gonna wanna get in there and operate. But we don't want them to slice and dice you open. We want a quick, easy shot injection. So with our treatment, we do two shots. We do 25 million, kind of the back here in the shoulder blade, that gets it into the joint where the labrum and the cartilage are. And then we do a second shot via ultrasound guidance right up here. We'll find with the MRI what was affected most. Then the doc will line it up with the ultrasound and boom, quick second injection. It's the most anticlimactic thing you'll ever do. It's so simple, these injections don't hurt. And from there, it's just waiting. It usually takes three to six months for it to fully repair. But luckily, muscles and tendons tend to heal the fastest and best. So it's usually closer to three months, if not sooner. And it's more of the waiting, you know, it's tough if you like to hit the gym like I do to take time off. So we recommend two weeks, nothing major then four weeks of light rehab. Good news, you can still do leg day, <laughs> you can do lots of bike, lots of squats, just avoid those upper body workouts for those six weeks, two weeks of nothing major, four weeks of light rehab. And then you want to start working out again. And the reason why is we want them to target where the inflammation and damage is so they can get there first heal it up and then after six weeks we want to bring back some inflammation so, you know go do some shoulder presses go do some you know straight arm lifts do do some of these different exercises get things feeling good with those shoulders and just don't push it too hard listen to your body we don't want you getting back and going out trying to set personal records that's not the goal here because with the rotator cuff, you're gonna have a couple different issues. You got the supraspinatus, you got the infraspinatus, you got the teres minor and the subscapularis. The supraspinatus is the one we see the most often torn up here on the top. And it's very simple to fix. Quick, easy injection, you're done. You now we just let it rest and then start healing. So if you wanna learn more about how to avoid surgery, how to heal your shoulder, get a hold of us at www.dreambody.clinic or we're actually there. Scroll down on the homepage. You'll see all the treatments listed. You'll see that you've got like the shoulder treatment. Click on it. It's got all the info, patient testimonials, all the info you can want, prices. And you can call us toll free anytime at 888 704 3977. And I'm Josh. Happy to help.